Hi, today I'm going to teach you how to allow your MacBook to read and write to a Seagate external hard drive. So I've been using my Seagate hard drive to save files using my MacBook Air. But when I reformatted my MacBook Air, I can't copy or save files anymore to the same Seagate hard drive. My Mac can read and open the files, but I can't save files or copy files to the drive. So let me share with you the solution. It's super easy. So let me try to copy a file to the hard drive. And as you can see, I can't even drag and drop the file into the hard drive. So let's try and right click the external hard drive and then click get info. And then down there is the sharings and permissions. If you click it, you will see the permissions and we have the read and write permission but still we can't copy or save files into this drive so if you look at the format of this drive you will see that it's formatted for windows and tfs and so that's why we can't save or copy files into this drive but there's a solution to it and we need a driver to make this work and so what we'll do is we're going to go to the Seagate website and that's seagate.com and then click support and then click software downloads and then scroll down until you see the Paragon Drive. This is what we will need to make our um, hard drive read and copy from the Mac and there are two options that you can see on the right so it depends on the iOS version of your Mac so what you do is just go ahead and click the Apple um, logo at the upper left corner of your Mac and there you will see the version of your Mac so my version is this one and I'm gonna go ahead and download this and then after downloading I've actually downloaded it before so after downloading we're going to open the file and then we will click install NTFS for Mac and then just hit open and then accept the license agreement and then it will start installing so during the installation process if there is a notification or a, a window that would appear and would ask you to give permission or allow this program to continue loading or installing just go ahead and open the system preferences and then click the securities and privacy or security and privacy and then unlock and enter your max password and then there, there would be a message somewhere here and then click the allow or open button and then go back and lock it again and then it will continue to install the driver for the Seagate hard drive and then at the end it will ask you to restart your laptop so just go ahead and click restart so now my Mac has been restarted and we're gonna go and check if it worked so let's try and drag the Let's try and drag a file into the external hard drive. And so now let's see. Oh, there it is. So we were able to copy the file now to the hard drive. So let's open the same file from the Mac. So this is the solution for you to be able to save and copy files from a MacBook 
to a Seagate external hard drive. The drive's format is unchanged. It's still NTFS format, but the driver allows read and write to the drive. Thank you so much for dropping by and please hit the like and subscribe button.